I'm Cynthia Anderson. I'm professor of oboe here at West Virginia University School of Music. I think like a lot of oboists, we don't sort of arrive at this instrument on our own. Someone suggests it to us, and that's how it started for me. In elementary school, I was not interested in any of the instruments they offered, flute, clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, trombone. But I played the piano, so I read music, and as I was getting ready to go into middle school, the middle school band director contacted me and said, hey, I hear you read music, and I really need an oboe player. How about if you try it? And I said, I don't even know what it is, but sure. And I enjoyed the challenge of making sound on it and learning the technique and just fell into its envelope of sound. And I've always enjoyed classical music. My parents listened to classical music and would take us to concerts. And I started noticing what the oboe did and how it sounded and it became my identity. And pursued that, I wanted to be a band director. So I went to school for music education. And after I left college, I uh, ended up playing in a professional wind ensemble that traveled around. And I thought, okay, when I finish this, I will go and be a band director someplace. But the orchestra conductor, the, the wind ensemble conductor, said, what are you doing next, Cindy? And I said, oh, I'm going to go be a band director. And he said, no, you're going to be a player. You need to go to graduate school. You need to keep playing the oboe because that's who you are. And I thought, huh, nobody ever told me that before. And that's what I did. And I have him to thank for my career and everything that my career has brought me.